Hi guys, today in this video we'll try to find out what happens if you will eject RAM from the running PC. Let's go! Before the video starts, remember that in any case don't try my actions at home with your PC, because it may crash it. Everything you will see in this video was created solely for educational and entertainment purposes. Enjoy! Have you ever had to edit a PDF file? Most of the programs don't have this feature, but one of them has. It's called Swift2 PDF, all-in-one free PDF software. Using this software, you can edit the text and copy it straight into Microsoft Word. You can add any pictures and edit them. Also, we can convert a PDF file to Word, Excel, text document, etc. In simple terms, you can convert any PDF files to all Office formats. Even optical character recognition is supported. This software provides a 15-day trial. If you are interested, link will be in the description. In this video, I want to answer three questions. First, what happens if you will eject RAM from the running PC while watching a YouTube video, for example? The second test will be during a game. And the third question, can it cause a fault of RAM? Let's find out. So we need a computer to test. Don't get me wrong, I'm not the kind of guy who will break a working PC. For this test, I will take my old PC that's already broken. It has broken SATA port right here. The repair is more costly than the computer itself, so I think this PC is perfect to make the tests. And here is my old PC. Intel Pentium D 2 cores, 3 GHz. Old Asus motherboard. 2 sticks with each 1 GB of RAM. Nvidia 8400 GS. And Windows 11. I'm hardly believe it myself, but this old CPU can run it. Also, I connected speakers so we can hear what happens with sound during the test. As you can see, I did several tests using a program called MemTest. He has passed three tests, so we can say that RAM sticks are totally fine. Ok, let's open one of my videos. This one, for example. Let's go. Fuff, it's just wire touched the fan. It was so scary, oh my god. And that's what happens. Loud squeak and Windows is stuck, but no blue screens. If I eject another RAM stick, the sound will disappear. The only way now to turn off PC is the long press power button. Now I will install RAM sticks back and try to turn on my PC. And it's working well, with no issues. Ok, we were lucky. Let's try to eject RAM during a game. It's a very old PC, that's why I have installed Half-Life 2 here. Let's open the game. Ok, let's go. The screen is frozen and you can hear almost the same loud squeak. If I will eject another RAM stick, the sound will disappear as in the first test. Let's turn on the computer and the second time it's fine. I've tried to eject RAM three more times, but nothing happened. It works without any issues. And the last question. Can it cause a fault of RAM? After multiple RAM ejections, I'm starting MEM test to check RAM. And it passed the test more than two times which suggests to us that RAM is fine. I was lucky because these actions can also fry your HDD controller, CPU cache memory and DIMM socket on your motherboard. The risk increases if you are using a modern PC because some devices work differently on it. By the way, there are some motherboards that support hot swap RAM. Now you know what happens if you will eject RAM from the running PC. Plus, if you ever have a frozen screen, you will know where to look. If this video gets 1000 likes, I will film another experiment, but with GPU card. Type in the comment section, do you ever have a frozen screen on your PC? If you enjoyed this video, press the like button and don't forget to subscribe. See you later, bye.